all I've ever wanted to be is myself and I'm just so grateful that I've had the opportunity to come here and be me. I have never really been involved with sport because I'm looking for publicity or profile or exposure and uh, while I recognise that um, you know, my involvement in sport is a topic of considerable interest to some. Um, in some ways I'm looking forward to this being <laughs> the end of, um, I suppose, uh, my journey as an athlete and the attention that comes from it. I tried not to dwell on, I suppose, negative coverage or negative perception because it makes a hard job even harder. Um, you know, it's hard enough lifting a barbell, but uh, if you're putting more weight on it, <laughs> then it just, yeah, makes it an impossible task, really. Um, one thing I will say, though, is that I think often a lot of negative coverage and negative perception is not really based on sort of I suppose evidence or principle but rather it's based on emotion that people are often um, reacting out of I suppose fear or discomfort and I hope that uh, in time they will open themselves up to a broader perspective. I'm not sure that a role model is, is, uh, is, is, is something that I could ever aspire to be. Um, instead I hope that um, you know, just by being here, I can provide some sense of encouragement. Um, and I just hope that um, if people are undergoing any difficulty or struggle within their lives, uh, not necessarily related to sport, but to anything really, that um, I can perhaps see that there are opportunities in the world, that, you know, there are, there are opportunities to live uh, authentically and as we are. I don't think it should be historic. You know, I think that um, as we move into a sort of new and more understanding world, uh, people are starting to realise that uh, people like me are just people. You know, we are human, and and as such, um, uh, I hope that just by being here, um, that's enough. <laughs>